all right hey welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to start a brand new series called what the f scopely and uh, this is where i get to uh, air out my grievances for the week it will be a weekly uh, uh episode i guess if you want to call it that and it's really just going to be me going off the cuff about things that i gripe about or have complaints about associated with the game um, if you know uh, my channel my channel is typically not about that and it's mostly about gameplay and uh, uh, th that's what I typically focus on but I think uh, I've always carved out a little bit of a uh, space in terms of percentage wise of the videos I upload to talk about various things that happen in the game so if this is not your cup of tea believe me there's plenty of uh, content creators out there complaining and crying about the game hey look man I just want to cry a little bit I like to cry as well so I'm gonna cry a little bit so if this is not about to uh, if this is not for you, then please proceed and move on, move along. But if you want to hear some of my thoughts, then uh, feel free to stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Now, this is what I'm going to say. There are a few things that have irked me, all right, this week. Uh, first and foremost, uh, they just announced yesterday that there was a, you know, a brand new strike store coming into the game. And that really ticked me off. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because I sit here and ask myself, as a player, because I just want to enjoy the game, in terms of your priorities, why in the, where is our content? <laughs> what is, who the hell cares? I know who cares. The Krakens care about another strike store. And again, no, no hate on Krakens. Um, but I, I guess what I'm saying is, I think Krakens would also like you know, again, anybody that spends on the game wants their money to get them more stuff, right? They want to have see value in their purchases. But I also want to see content in the game. And so when I see things like the prioritization of a stupid store that replaces the other garbage store, you could have just put better things in it. I don't quite understand. Oh, you gave you gave people flexibility to be able to make choices about what they spend their newfound uh you know uh kraken currency on who gives a crap can you give us that freedom and that uh, <laughs> that uh, ability to choose in the game can you update those stores probably to something a little bit more valuable for the actual people playing the game um not saying krakens don't play the game but i guess i, I understand look i understand the entire game is geared towards heavy spenders i'm no issue with that they keep the lights on but you have to at some point pretend like this is a video game <laughs> right at some point you have to pretend like this is a video game because at some point even krakens are gonna get bored like i'm bored and i'm not even a kraken i'm not, i'm at the end game but i'm not at end 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 game like krakens there's nothing to do so can you prioritize, look, and I know this, let me set this back up. If you people have, ne if people out there listening have never been in corporate America working with like a software development team, it's all about your capacity. And what capacity means is your ability to churn out work. Like if you have 20 people that can, you know, work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, then that basically uh, comprises of what your operational capacity is, right? There's only so many hours in a day, so many just manpower. And of course, when you're coding, you got to devote those hours. That's how they plan projects. They do project managers that divvy out estimates of hours and what they can do. And the fact that, and look, I understand that I don't know how they're structured. Maybe they have a completely different web team. But the fact that they spent resources, one, I'm not even, to, I haven't even gotten to the graphical update yet. <laughs> the graphical update, what, the, the thing that nobody in the world asked for, the, the major strength of this game was its graphics and all of a sudden we have a graphical update for what reason again i have my suspicions i have no idea my suspicions are it makes coding easier down the line but from based on the pictures that i've seen it looks a heck of a lot worse and that implies a lot of things to me that i can speculate coding becomes easier in terms of graphically for you know future tunes or whatever so less hours are spent developing it and so it makes it easier. So if you spend less hours developing it, then it means you don't need as many people on staff. And then the, the, the dreaded maintenance mode that has been speculated for so long. 
right? It just makes it easier to manage because you don't have to be so detailed. You can be, you can be, you can shortcut it basically and make development times easier. Or maybe that's just a cynical way of looking at it. But back to the, the, uh, the supply store or the, the new strike store. Why? The fact that you prioritized a graphical update nobody wanted, a supply, a strike store that nobody, well, again, some people wanted, at the expense of new game content is alarming, is troubling. It ticks me off. And I'm not saying they can't walk and chew, and chew, chew gum either, but can you throw us a bone? Can you say, hey, remember that whole content of Battle World we alluded to? Uh, yeah, there's a, you know, it did get delayed, but maybe we're targeting maybe September, October, but just so just hang tight, please bear with just anything, throw us a nugget. You know, it's just, it's just crazy that they just think that letting a game flounder along without any new content is, is good for the game. It isn't. A lot of us still want to play things in the game. There's nothing to... You know, Cosmic Crucible is a joke. And look, this is from somebody that's in the top 400 in Cosmic Crucible. It's a joke. I'm not even trying. I'm in the top 400 simply because I have Mephisto. <laughs> it's not even challenging. The room buffs are trash. The rewards are trash. Now you just, you're trying to pigeonhole everything by putting characters that dominate in that mode. Tr who gives a crap? It isn't worth doing. It's not content. It's repetitive content. At some point, if you think about this game, it's just, it, it, everything just distills down to the same characters fighting each other over and over and over with different parameters. So you gotta spice it up. You gotta give us content to be able to use these characters that you're selling us here. Or opening, or, or you know, of course, getting free to play. And look, uh, and just to be transparent, I don't I don't buy character tunes unless I'm really into that character, right? Like I bought Pandapool just because it was a novelty. But other than that, I haven't bought a character since I don't even know when. But but I guess the, my main point is, and, and let's touch upon that real quick. You gotta ask yourself what, it, so I understand, look, and me more than anyone knows the dynamics of, this is gonna, this is, this is about money. I'm under no illusion that it's not. It's about money. But again, you can't just keep squeezing people because at some point people will be like, There's, where's the game? You're just snaking me for my money. There's no game to be able to do anything with this stuff, right? So, you know, the the fact that you've locked, you know, the the, the latest team, Illuminati, um, and, and Captain Brexit, Captain Britain, for those of you that are, are, are unfamiliar with the term, uh, behind basically a five-star shuri which you could only get unless you were extremely lucky and got the 0.1 percent drop of whatever's of the orbs that were total garbage and the orbs of the hank pym complete garbage you had to buy that the, the, that team i just faced when i put out a video just now go check it out it's about sinister six facing illuminati in war defense yes i know they're i know they're not a war defense team yes i know this but check this out here my here my thoughts People just spent 400 to 500 dollars on this team. The, the the team I faced had a one diamond Captain Brexit. Don't you think you should? We as a player base should expect more from a 500 dollar team. <laughs> 500 dollar team. You you know what I mean? Like like if I'm gonna spend 500 dollars on a team, this thing better rock more than Cosmic Crucible. This this thing better thank me for the night before and, and cook me breakfast the next day. I mean, that's absurd. $500 better dominate, at least give me something to do, at least use one a Captain Briggs in an arena maybe, or um, uh, be able to tackle raids or, I don't know. Maybe it is exceptional in Battle World that's never coming out. But $500 should do a little bit more then get me a win, maybe, in Cosmic Crucible that has rewards that are garbage and isn't even worth it. <laughs> like, who gives a crap? Oh, well, I'm, I'm number 36 in Cosmic Crucible. No one cares. 
I don't think I've ever been in any Discord server where people are sitting, bouncing around saying, do you know what rank I am? I'm, I'm, I'm 38, man. Do you know how awesome that is? Like, no one cares. You know what I mean? Like, I referenced the top 400 just to show you that I'm not even trying and the game mode is just kind of a, a superfluous mess of just whoever wallet checked. And again, I didn't really wallet check that much. But at the end of the day, I got Mephisto using the wallet. I would say smartly, but uh, that's up for debate. Um, it, the, the, the game is the, the game has already disappeared. So you have to give us content in order to be able to want to do stuff in this game, in order to want to spend money in this game. Five hundred dollars for a team that just gets obliterated in war defense is unexcusable. Supplier so Society is a is a raid team. You know, that's what people are going to say. They're not, a, they're not a war defense. You could put Spire Society on defense, and I'll guarantee you, people will be very happy with their performance. You can put Spire Society in Crucible. Extremely satisfied with their performance. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, and they, I didn't spend a single penny on Spire Society. It was completely free to play. And you're telling me a $500 team can't even last two minutes in war defense? I'm just saying, you know what, man, I, so that's, I think that's kind of ends my rant. Um, uh, you know, that, look, again, I'm sorry if you, if you are not, again, I gave you a warning at the beginning. Uh, I would like to carve myself out some of these uh, moments because, yes, I do enjoy playing the game uh, with the sheer lack of content it has. But I'm telling you, even me, at some point, like, I'll give you a quick anecdote. Uh... uh Elden Ring, which I absolutely love. I've, I've put dumped hundreds of hours into it. But when there's nothing left to do, I move on. <laughs> there's no, what, what else do you want me to do? There's nothing else to do. I already found every location, got every little item. Well, I've got nothing left to do. So I don't play it anymore. Right? You got to provide content. You can't just... This, you got to still at least pretend you're, you're developing a video game. At least pretend. At least throw some fake news or something. Oh, Battle World's coming out soon. Battle World was announced like eight months ago. Eight months, ladies and gentlemen. And I can understand that development cycles can be hell and new modes, which can be difficult to get up off the ground. But when you throw a graphical update in our faces, that for all intents and purposes, again, it's subjective. I think it looks awful. <laughs> I think it looks like crap. And then you make a, make a strike force store, a strike store, whatever. Wow. Okay, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Can you can can we get and, and, and that's the sad part, right? If it took eight months and counting before we can even sniff uh before we can even sniff new new content, what's it going to be like for the next content? Another year? That's what we can expect. And not to mention, we can't even get a roadmap. I mean, we can't. This is a six and a half year old game. We've gotten roadmaps for fairly. Cause we don't even have a roadmap. I wonder what that is. And now we just the only thing we have going is this year long event, which is now seems to be locked behind 400, 500 dollar characters for every single one of the legendaries. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. That that you know, if if they were good teams, maybe you could make the argument. Um, you know, good teams outside of their specific mode, maybe you can have the argument. But not for, I don't see it. I'm sitting there saying like, oh my god, I I just put the, I just fought that team in war and I just couldn't believe it. I I thought they would put up a bit a better fight. You know, Spider Society esque, or maybe at minimum, you know, Superior Six, Sinister Six esque, five hundred dollar team. We should demand more, should we not? We should expect more, should we not? This is insane. Anyways, that's just my thoughts for this week on Marvel Strike Force. Uh, let me know in the comments if you. There'll be a lot of hate, which is fine. I get fueled by your hate. I love your hate. Your hate. <laughs> your hate fuels me to make even more content to make you angry. 
because it's all good on my end, man. Like, the, the idea that you would get so upset at someone saying, like, uh, this is, and this is in relation to my previous video. My previous video about Aries and the Great Reset 2.0 was hilarious. The responses for ma the vast majority of people was positive. But the overarching message was, hey, I have a suspicion this is coming down the line. And believe me, I've spoken to a few Krakens and they, they, you know, the Krakens know. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you're on point. But I would say this, the overarching message was, don't you think you just kind of want to wait? It's only like next week. <laughs> See what Ares looks like. See what the next, you know, Endgame Thanos, which, which I will well for, by the way. Endgame Thanos gets me excited. And, but, you know, see what that team looks like. See what the next team looks like. Like, what is the, what is so horrible about telling people to be very mindful about the resources? It's incredible. The amount of people that just want to be argumentative. <laughs> Like, man, no one cares, bro. Like, it's just an opinion about a mobile app. Just relax. And if you don't care, if you don't want to hear it, you don't have to follow the advice. Go ahead. Build Illuminati to the moon. I don't care. Build, you know, Infinity Watch to the moon. I don't care. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Get on board or don't. I don't care. Just trying to help. Just trying to pass on some advice from a player that's been playing for six and a half years and seen... She seen a lot of these shenanigans before, but anyways, uh, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I''m kind of done. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks.